got a couple of Newcastle fans sitting on sitting on the sofa there. They must fully understand about going to watch your team every single week for no good reason, seeing a lot of the same stuff. And still it's a good job you're in Spain. <laughs> it really is. Uh, it really they're, is. They're perfect England fans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bring that up. That's hurtful. Really Sorry, hurtful. I thought I recognised you from Soho on a Saturday mm -hmm. night. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> you got to, it's important to have a hobby. You know. It is. It's, it is. it's nice that so. you're filling your days. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> what the hell else am I going to do? Right. <laughs> Was it upsetting seeing five Scotland fans make more noise in the whole of the Emirates? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's, that is a low blow. <laughs> exactly. I think they scored over 100 goals, so... Um, oh, really? And still didn't go up? Yeah, that's that's tough, isn't it? That, that, that sounds like an Arsenal fan. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Pardon? This is football we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, you there, mate? Hello. Wow. What that? Well done. So. So I mean, well done. Let's a round of applause. So, he's a Bournemouth fan. Told us if Bournemouth lost to Sunderland. He would dye his hair red and white stripes. And wow. lo and behold, <laughs> that's another round of applause. Well done. Well done, well done Who's, Oh, well, Gibral, yeah, that's I know, yeah. Man. Every inch of him covered in a tattoo. Well, yeah. I can't, that's not from personal experience. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Every inch. That's a true answer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about every inch. It's going to manifest itself in North London next year. Okay. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna lit. be hashtag, hashtag lit. lit. And your guys, Manchester United, not doing very well at the minute. No, I just yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really how the show works. Yeah, uh, I know. I had another tweet as well at Fad TV UK. Uh, why are you dressed like a Scottish darts player tonight, from Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Any yeah. mistakes on your uh, on your birth certificate? Yeah, I think I was meant to be a girl. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tactically, what are you like the main benefits? Oh, really? oh, that was quite a good one. That, that was quite a good one. Yeah. Did you see this about Anthony Stokes, the Irish footballer? I read a bit about that in the paper. I read. He was charged for beating up an Elvis impersonator in Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think there might be sentencing on this one. It's gonna, he's gonna get in serious trouble for that. Well, apparently. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. He's in serious trouble. He's he, he's pleaded guilty now, boys. That was the news today. Well, I heard from the police reports that the victim is all shook up. <laughs> hey, here we go, here we go. I could watch football fans forever, couldn't you? It's like it's like an insight into human nature, isn't it? You can imagine Attenborough commentating over the back of that. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah.